And today I'm going to talk about these two very popular, they call them air glasses or VR glasses. I call them wearable monitors because that's what they actually are. There is no augmented reality there. There is no mixed reality there. There's no uh, different UI layer on top of what you're watching. But they are great. Uh, so one is Rocket Max and one is uh, Unreal or Xreal Air 2. Um, so I'm going to talk about these two and also kind of suggest which one is ideal for you folks. So first of all, let's talk about a few things that really uh, matter or in, in order of importance. These things can be deal maker or deal breaker. There are a lot of things sometimes people talk about which are more or less personal preferences, and but there are a lot of things which are really important for this specific use case. So let's look at the comfort. They're both, you know, comfortable to wear. Uh, this one is X-Real, fine. Rocket Max, fine. What I would say though is that Rocket Max for some reason feels more comfortable when I'm wearing it. There is something I cannot pinpoint it, but it somehow feels more comfortable. It could be just the nose bridge, which you can actually modify, extend, extend, you know, expand, uh, depending on your own needs. But for some reason, this feels a bit better, more comfortable versus this one. Though the fact is that this thing a bit flexible, so it will not be too tight around your neck, uh, around your uh, ear. This one is stiff but that's what it is look and feel of course as you can see the rocket max looks more or less like science fictional let me remove this uh, blocker this one looks more or less science fictional you can see everything i can look at my camera i can record uh hearing this uh from the side view i don't know what you think do you think it looks like a normal glass that people will bear or you feel like hey this is a joker so uh, that's rocket that's unreal. Let's remove the cover from here as well. That's Rocket. So now, which one? Now, I do feel that Rocket, uh, sorry, Unreal is a bit higher up here. So, but you know, that's what it is. They need enough room for the projector which is built into there. So that's the look and feel. Now, let's talk about uh, the cover. They both come with uh, dark cover. Now, what they have changed with uh, Unreal. Uh, Xreal version 2 is that earlier the snap was not that great you have to really push it hard and it was pure black screen now what they've done is that you can actually push it properly so it holds in place uh, it's also a bit bigger than the earlier one was just a lip here the the big difference is that this is not just a plastic you know it is actually translucent you can you can see through it so instead of totally blacking things out, it just dims it so that you, you still have a feel of your somewhere, but it doesn't darken it out. In the case of Rocket, it's pure black. It's just, you know, and the same thing, it snaps on very well. It produced, produced a bit too much compared to it. And I feel that putting it on is a bit, they're both fine to put them on and off that was more or less like cosmetic now let's look at uh, the tech that is actually matters let's start with brightness display uh, they both have great display OLED displays so they're very very crisp and clear as good as a 4k display no it's not exactly 4k 4k if you're working on documents you will see the text has a little bit of you can say pixelations there it's not that much you can get work done uh, to display on both sharp color that could be tricky uh, as far as rocket is concerned it the colors are more vivid but it's also a bit warmer on x reel the color seems to seem to be more accurate of course uh, we, we mostly deal with the consumer devices, but I do have a monitor which is color calibrated for video editing. Uh, iPads, iPhone, Macs, their color calibration is really good. 
Xreal gives you exactly the same color that you will get on your Macs, iPads, and your phones. This one is very vivid, very vivid. Everything is more colorful and it's also a bit warmer. Second problem is that for some reason, this one, the dynamic range is really poor. Even if you go to the highest brightness, the dark areas are very, very dark, which means that when I'm watching films in, 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 uh, and they have the dark scene, you can not see anything. If you try to watch Game of Thrones, uh, when the big fight happened, you will miss all the action because uh, either the contrast is bad. People say that the net voice, the brightness is more on this one, but that is not the case. This uh, display is a bit darker. You will not be able to see anything that is happening in the dark area. So everything is a bit darker. I, I cannot play. I was trying to play Assassin's Creed game there, but in the dark areas, I cannot even see the guys there. So I could not play. This one is more or less like full fledged HDR. If you enable HDR on your iPad, I mean, of course it's already enabled, but if you enable HDR on your Mac, so when you see all the dynamic range in the shadows, things will be very, very clear on this one. That's one thing. Second thing is for some reason, it feels that the image is being smoothened there. So the thing, image is a bit soft on this one, but here you will see everything is crisp. I'm talking about the video. So videos on Rocket is a bit softer but a bit darker. So from that perspective, uh, Unreal is, or Xreal, I'm sorry, they keep changing a company name. Xreal is a bit better. Now, this, now the second thing is sound. Once again, for some reason, the sound on Xreal is louder and clearer than the sound on Rocket Max. It's very, very low. You can barely hear it. Uh, the speaker placement is same on both devices, but for some reason, the speaker placement is same, but for, for some reason, the Rocket Max is not as loud as Xreal. Connectivity wise, they are both great. I just feel more comfortable because this is flexible. So I do know that plugging, unplugging USB-C will not put any strain on this. This one is very, very rigid. It's just pure plastic. So um, I, I, I prefer this one. They both have buttons to increase volume and brightness. I don't think this one has a button for volume. It only has button for brightness. It has on and off button. Uh, for this one, you can also adjust uh, as you feel. This one, they don't have any such feature. One thing that it does have is diopters. So if you have myopia, you can adjust the lens distance using these knobs. But the problem is that if you don't get it right, then you will get a lot of headaches and you will get nauseated. And that's what I felt initially. So I almost gave up on it. And then you have to fine tune it. You have to close one eye, open text and set this eye and then set this eye. And that's how you can fine tune it. And once you fine tune it, things look good. One more problem that I notice on Rokid Max is that its screen looks a bit curved like this on top and bottom. It's not flat rectangle, but on Xreal, you get a very decent screen. Battery wise, battery life, of course, if you're plugged into the iPhone or iPad, it will consume a lot of batteries. So uh, always use, uh, 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 a uh, there's a, so you can always use an adapter that Rokit sells now Nvidia, sorry, now Asus, they came up with a charger, which has HDMI built in there. So you can just plug the, your glasses through an adapter into the power adapter and you can consume content while playing game on your ROG Asus LA. So pretty much from the perspective of look and feel, personal preference, like which was more comfortable and technology wise, 
Rocade is good when it comes to wearing comfort, but x -Real is good when it comes to the brightness of the screen, color accuracy, and sound. One more thing is that I have already updated my x -Real twice ever since I bought it. It's very easy, you go to the website and you can easily upgrade the firmware. On Rokit, I don't even know where to go to find any software update or support, which means that I have no idea about the long-term support that they will have for this device. So if I look at it uh, from, from perspective as user, as a new buyer, which one should I get? As I said, I bought Rokit Max, but then I ended up buying this one as well. And the reason is simple. <clears throat> They're both great devices. Rokit has done a great job with it great comfort there brighter screen high dynamic range when it comes to video content or any other text better sound louder sound one more thing that i noticed which is common to both of these is for gaming is that even if they claim to be 90 hertz when i was playing game and there's movement you will see jitters there it's not as smooth so it looks like you're almost uh, running on you know uh, 60 hertz or 30 or 20 hertz uh, monitor so if you're playing in a game that is a lot of movement both are not very very kind of comfortable i do not know the reason behind it but i noticed that so uh, if i had to buy one even if i love this one for look and feel and the comfort i will go with x real the reason is brighter screen high dynamic range better audio and as I said, there are certain things which could be personal preferences that this is quite comfortable to wear. And uh, this has a bit of an annoyance when it comes to uh, diopters and the screen is a bit curved on top. It's slight, you will not notice it, but it is. And also in this one, you will see some softness or blur images at the edges. So this is my take from a user's perspective. Uh, I will go with <laughs> Xreal. One more thing before we go is their cases. Uh, so this is Unreal case, very easy, you, you put uh, in the case, it's done. They, in the previous version, they used to have a separator, so I can put cable here and then the glasses here without worrying about cables scra scratching the projector. Uh, that is not the case anymore. Uh, they still have a divider on the Rokid Max case, but the, this case is bulky. You put the case and you close it, and this is a bit bulkier case as compared to Xreal, I would prefer Xreal case if I'm traveling. My bet is on Xreal, but you know, I may be totally wrong. Your experience may be dif different, uh, but this is the summary. Xreal, better screen, high dynamic range, better sound, and real, sorry, Rokin Max, great comfort, but darker images, not so loud sound, and I really do not know anything about the software support here. That's my review. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.